Adventure Venturers. Good morning. As you can see, we have our masks on because we're finally going to pick up the Bagel Shack, which we've been waiting to get this entire trip. But that doesn't come without a price to pay. There is a huge <laughs> line and the phones are busy. So we had to call in about 40 times for us to even place an order. And but we we'll got through. About, we'll wait about 15 to 20 minutes for the orders to be ready. And there's a line down the street. I mean, it's usually like that anyway, but yeah. it's about six times the length of it because everybody's social distancing. Mm -hmm. So it seems a little bit worse. And with this oppressive sun right now, <laughs> How hot is it? It's so hot and I am wearing all long sleeves because I got so burned yesterday so I just wanted to cover up yeah. while we were riding the scooters here. She'd rather sweat than yeah. be in pain. <laughs> I would. So we're going to pick up our food. The good thing is we don't have to go inside. They have a takeout window right on the side so they said about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll have our food. We're right on the verge <laughs> of impending coronavirus. On a playground. But uh... We found a nice spot here in a church garden. It's a community garden actually mm -hmm. next to the church um, in Beach Haven. All of these little plots here on this beach or in this garden are individually leased to people who want to come to their own garden if they don't have something at their house, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So you can see all everybody's different types of stuff that they want to plant and have for their home cooking. That's pretty cool. So cute. But um, we just got our stuff. Ah. What, what did you order? I went with just a plain bagel, egg and cheese, and ketchup. I always love ketchup on my eggs. Yeah, really good. And then I had the uh, sesame, bacon, egg, and cheese. Which Can't is go also wrong with that. so good. Yeah, I guess because of how busy they were, they kind of missed the target. <laughs> I have a lot of egg on this side and a fly right there. <laughs> There's a lot of egg on this side and a lot of bacon on this side. So I think I'm going to take a bite from the middle to get all of the flavors. So good. Always, by far, one of the best breakfast sandwiches on LBI. Bagel Shack has outdone themselves again. And how much did it cost for the two? I forget. I think it was it was like 13 13 bucks. Yeah, 13. So like six dollars each, which yeah. isn't bad at all. If mm -hmm. you go to Wawa or anything else, it's usually usually like five dollars a sandwich. So. Yeah. And I always like the sesame. It adds that extra little flavor to it. That's really good too. Mine is so messy. It is ripping apart. No. Okay, so I just went with a plain bagel, egg white, and then ketchup and cheese. Really good. Bagel's nice and fresh. I didn't get too much cheese, so it's not overpowering. And then I always need to have ketchup, and that just always makes an egg sandwich better. Okay, we all fit. We all finished up here. So we are finished here, and we're gonna head home. It's supposed to get a little bit cooler as the day goes on. Surprisingly enough, I mean, it's what 11 o'clock almost, and the humidity is really crazy. So we're gonna wait for it to die down a little bit and see where the day takes us. I think we're gonna let serendipity control the better portion of this day. Showtime! <laughs> show place! We are at show place right now. It's an awesome ice cream place that has been on the island since I can remember, probably many years before I was even born. And it's really, really neat because it's kind of like a theater mixed with an ice cream parlor. So they put on like a play kind of thing. It's really, really neat. Totally recommend you guys if you are down here to check this out because I've never seen anything like this. So we don't want to give away too much information about it, but it's really interactive and fun and they really include the audience so yes. and a big plus is the ice cream is actually really good tonight though we are going to just get some ice cream order it at the uh, the little kiosk stand, yeah the takeout window take yeah. out window whatever they have and uh, and then eat it in the car or bring it we can't really bring it home we'll probably eat it right in the car here <laughs> it's what we've been if having can, to do a lot lately right next to the ice cream parlor is a theater yeah it's called what surf light theater yeah surf light theater and it's been on the island just like the parlor for many many years yeah and apparently they put on broadway shows and stuff like that do mm -hmm. they actually have broadway cast members it's not broadway cast members but they are really really good you have to audition obviously to be a part of this and my brother actually did it way back when for the kids theater 
That's cool. And yeah, next week I think they're starting Frozen, which is awesome. I think they're gonna do the social distancing thing, which is a plus, and have like seats in between everyone, yeah. so. Yeah. Ice cream is served. So I got the, um, the cookie dough, the mint chocolate chip, and the peanut butter. So I went all different kinds of flavors. It doesn't look like much, honestly, everybody, but. Um, yeah, it doesn't because I got two scoops and he got three and they yeah. honestly look like the same size. Well, yeah, I was actually talking about it doesn't look that good. Oh. <laughs> um, but we assure you that when I take this first bite that I got cookie dough, mint chocolate chip, and peanut butter in this. Mm -hmm. It's so good. <laughs> so you know that is ice cream. Yeah. Especially with the hot fudge. Earlier today we went to a different ice cream place uh, down in Barnega and it wasn't that good. It definitely isn't the show place. Mm -mm. Their ice cream is so good. Yeah. And not only do they just give you scoops like this, they make some crazy things. Like I asked for a banana split to go and they weren't able to do it because it's mm -hmm. too big. So. Yeah. And I just went with a typical regular sundae. I got vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, a whipped cream, and rainbow sprinkles. Their hot fudge there, how good is their hot fudge? Amazing. It's amazing. It's the best hot fudge I've ever had mm -hmm. anywhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. And how many times have we had ice cream in our life? <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. I will mm -hmm. say. Taste there. How is it? Taste there whipped cream. Whipped cream? Mm-hmm. It's so good. Mmm, really creamy. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I will say there's one other place that contends with hot fudge that's like this on this level, Shemong Diner. Mm -hmm. Shemong Diner on Route 206 in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to go there. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> if you're ever traveling north to south New Jersey, hit it up because it has some of the best ice cream around. Mm -hmm. It's 923 right now. We haven't eaten dinner yet. And this is like probably the first time we've ever eaten dessert properly before. We had ice cream for lunch before and now we're dinner. having ice cream for dinner. Yeah, today. wow. And we've never done that. Never. <laughs> ice cream for lunch and dinner. Dad, this one's for you. <laughs> so for dessert, we're gonna have chicken parm back at home that we made that is so good. Mm -hmm. It's our favorite, well, so. The first time I ever had it was her mom's recipe and she is so good at making chicken parm it's ridiculous like there is no chicken parm that's better than hers i've had it so many times it's one of my favorite dishes and it's the cutlets uh -huh. i really think it's the breaded cutlets that she does how she flattens out the meat mm -hmm. makes them thinner Pounds them down. so you don't have to chew up that meat as much and it just it cooks perfectly mm -hmm. so good so we're gonna finish up our ice cream here and then i think head back home and call it a night so we'll see you guys in the morning What's up guys? It's 4th of July this morning, so that means it's our last day here in Beach Haven, but we have a really fun day planned. The island is literally packed with people. Dave is upstairs getting a sandwich. We had a nice little walk this morning, and now I think we're about to head out on the scooters and just relax a little bit. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> Happy 4th of July, everybody. We're not in the Bahamas. We're not in Jamaica. We're not in Puerto Rico. We're not in Ireland. We are in New Jersey. <laughs> and this is Pearl Street Market's chicken salad. The best chicken salad that I know of for some reason. Everything mm -hmm. does taste better at the shore, mm -hmm. I feel like. But this, I think you could take this anywhere and contend with the best. So it looks like we're going to go for another scooter ride. Yeah. I don't know where though because there are thousands of people out right now. I think we're gonna head down to Surf Light Theater where we were last night. It might be a little bit less crowded down there. Yeah. And it's nice we do have the scooters and they go fast so we can just whiz by people. Mm -hmm. We're definitely gonna be bringing our masks for sure and then we're gonna see where the rest of the day takes us. I know we're gonna be barbecuing later on and maybe setting off some fireworks. We'll see how that goes. Yeah we brought some. Yeah we brought some. If not we're definitely gonna do the sparklers for sure. Mm -hmm. And then I think we're gonna head home later tonight. And then on Monday, we are headed to Cape May, New Jersey, which we are so excited about. So definitely stay tuned for that video. Yes, it's beautiful there. Best things in Long Beach Island are these nine bots. I love them. 
You can just, <gasps> well, there's another one that we've never seen any others on the island, and there's one. <laughs> right across the street is the Long Beach Island Historical Museum, which we would have been going in there, but it's sadly closed because of COVID. And they also have a lot of walking tours, which are really great to get a lot of the history of Long Beach Island. So right now, I think we're gonna head over to the oldest house in Beach Haven and show you guys that. So we made it to the second oldest house in Beach Haven. I was incorrect, it's not the oldest, it's the second oldest, and right next to it is its twin sister, and it's actually called the twin sister, and this one is so beautiful. So the second oldest one is the green one, and then next to it, the yellow one is just absolutely stunning. It was built a little bit later, but the landscaping here is just so gorgeous. It's one of our favorite houses on the island. You guys can see we are all ready for the 4th of July. Sadly, no fireworks tonight because of COVID, but we do have some sparklers, so we will be doing those a little bit later. And it's not that we don't have any fireworks, we do have plenty. There's a lot of people out there saying, don't do it, illegal fireworks are huge this year, and, and mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of cops. Right now, we're just gonna do a little bit of a barbecue and have some steak, chicken, and corn on the cob. And, and some ribs. And some ribs, of course. Yeah, yes. we love ribs, so. But the days turned out to be amazing. I know you guys saw earlier that it was a little bit cloudy, overcast, but it's turned out to be blue skies and the humidity has dropped a lot and it's just perfect, isn't it? It is. So we hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. We loved bringing you along to the Jersey Shore with us. Hopefully you learned a couple new things, places to go, things to see when you come down here yourselves and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. So we thought the vlog actually ended, but we had to turn the camera on for this. This is actually an experience we've never experienced before. Yeah. There's there's no dedicated fireworks that are happening in a certain area. And most people, I guess, went out and bought their own. And there are fireworks everywhere you look, 360. Everywhere. Yeah, it's awesome. So if you look this way, there's fireworks. This way, this way, behind us, yep. all around. It is so cool. Wow. It's, it's quite the 4th wow. of July. I mean, given the whole circumstance of everything, this is really cool to see still, that the people are still passionate about the traditions and all and of that. still celebrating regardless of the situation. Yeah. Good night, Treventurers. Good night.